quick, easy overview of our three roles that characters can play. So the first is our protagonist. A lot of you probably think that the protagonist means the good guy, and quite frankly, that's just not true. The protagonist really means that they're simply the main character. This is typically either the one who is telling the story or the one through whose eyes we see the story. Uh, so it can look a little bit different depending on the writing style. They're typically the very first character introduced, and this is the character who we're primarily following through the plot. It has nothing to do with a moral judgment. There's nothing about the protagonist that says that they have to be a good guy. Same thing with the antagonist. A lot of you probably learned it as being bad guy, but that's not true at all. The antagonist is simply the character who gets in the main character's way. Okay, they oppose the main character. They're stopping the main character from getting where they want to be. This can be either directly or indirectly. It could be that the antagonist is actively trying to stop the main character, or it could be that the antagonist kind of accidentally fell in the way of the main character, uh, but either way, they're still there. The antagonist can also be an abstract idea. We can't always point to a specific named character and say, oh yes, Fred is the antagonist. In some stories, it's this big abstract idea like nature. Okay, so, for example, uh, say that you're reading a story about uh, a guy who's climbing a mountain and he gets trapped and has to survive in this horrible storm. Okay, the antagonist in that story would be the mountain and the storm. Okay, we can't point to them, but those are still our antagonists. Again, it has nothing to do with a moral judgment. In fact, a lot of antagonists aren't bad at all. Uh, so for another example, say that you have two guys. Uh, we're going to call them Dan and Bob. And Dan and Bob both have a crush on Alice. And Bob is our main character because he's the one that we've been following through the main point of the story. He's the one telling us all about his life. And he's going to ask Alice to the mixer. And oh my goodness, Dan beat him to it. That doesn't make Dan a bad human being. It just means he's another guy who's got a crush on the same girl. He's the antagonist because he's in Bob's way. But that doesn't make him a bad person. Everyone else gets to be a supporting character. So this is typically defined as characters who are helping either the protagonist or the antagonist. Um, but it can also be just other people that the protagonist or antagonist come across. They might not be actively supporting either side, uh, but they just happen to be hanging around in the same scene. You can have any number of supporting characters. Sometimes there's zero supporting characters. Sometimes there's a thousand supporting characters. Whoever it takes to fill out those scenes, everyone else gets to be supporting character. So let's look at an example. So here's Bob, and he wants a sandwich. That's what Bob wants out of his life, is he wants a sandwich. But it's dark outside, and Bob is scared of the dark. So he goes to the kitchen, because we can turn on lights inside. And so he journeys to the kitchen, only to find his evil stepsister Hilda is eating the last piece of bread. Bob lunges for the tortillas. Oh my goodness, I'm going to make a sandwich. This is the closest thing I've got to bread. Oh, but Hilda throws them out the window instead. Mom, Bob yells, Hilda's wasting food. So who are our characters in this lovely, lovely epic story? Well, we know that our protagonist is our main character, the one who we're tracking through the entirety of the story, and the one through whose point of view we're seeing it. That means in this case it's going to be Bob. We see Bob at the very beginning, we see him all the way through the story to the end, and he's the one who we're really following through this desperate sandwich trek through the kitchen. Our antagonist is going to be Hilda. 
This is our character who's getting in Bob's way, who's standing in between Bob and his delicious, delicious sandwich. Because she ate the bread and got rid of the tortillas. And then finally, our supporting character is Mom. We don't actually see her in here. We don't actually know what she's going to do. Uh, but we definitely know that she's going to take up some space in this scene. And she is neither a protagonist nor an antagonist, which makes her a supporting character.